Let's talk geek. Let's not chant geek, let's talk geek. <clears throat> you all know what a geek is? I guess you do. A geek, when I talk geek here, I'm not talking about the pencil neck in school who never got dates. I mean, a geek is a guy who used to work in a circus sideshow. There's a poster of a wild man of Borneo there. Is he man or is he beast? Well, what he was, he was a man dressed up as a beast. That's what a geek is. They would do strange stunts in a, in a sideshow. They would bite the heads off living chickens, you know? They would, they would take like a live rat or a snake. They would, they would hold it by its tail and then they'd swallow it. And then, then they'd wait and then they'd bring it back out. And it would still be living, sort of, you know? Well, I, it wouldn't be fuzzy anymore, but... <laughs> or they would take like a six-penny nail and pound it up one nostril with the heel of their shoe. Or they would, um, they would, uh, they, they ate ground glass, they drank kerosene, you know, they were party kind of guys, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna show you a geek trick. It is called the needle through the arm. This is a different kind of trick. The needle through the arm is a geek trick. It's not like where you put the girl in the box and then you cut the box in half. Because when you see that trick, you know that it couldn't really be happening. But when you see the needle through the arm, you know that it could really be happening. And that's what makes it different. It could be happening. It ain't, but it could. <laughs> it's an illusion. It's a trick. It's like, it's like economic recovery, you know? <laughs> it could be happening, but it ain't. Okay. The needle through the arm. Now, we're gonna take it in phases. <laughs> Phase one, the cleansing of the arm. Oh, <laughs> I clean my arm. This fit is good for this. It is. Are there any doctors or nurses here? Am I right? If you cut yourself, spit is good, isn't it? That's what I read, because it gets in the germ's eyeballs. <laughs> right? And they can't see where they're going, right? And then they lunge at each other, right? That's how I... I read it in a book. This lady here would just get a look at my arm and assure the audience that I didn't put any phony skin or makeup or glue on my arm. Speak up, it's okay? It's okay. Okay, all right. I want you, if you're gonna be talking about this over your cornflakes in the morning, I wanna give you some shortcuts, all right? <laughs> Phase two completed. We will now swing deftly into phase three. The needle through the arm. In phase three, I take this very large and very sharp hat pin and I shove it through my arm. <laughs> okay, the needle through the arm. <laughs> don't ask a question you don't really want to hear the answer to. All right. The needle through the arm. A bunch of namby bambies. Come on. But the needle is not actually going through my arm. No, no. See, what I did was I created an illusion. The illusion of the needle going
it's a concept thing, see? It would be like, it would be like, if your cat had kittens in the oven, you wouldn't call them biscuits, right? <laughs> wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe, maybe if I, maybe if you see it actually happening. Would you like me to play Melancholy Baby? <laughs> Am I missing the entertainment potential of this thing or what? I'll tell you what, look at this. <laughs> Darling, you examine my arm. I want you to reach out. Just pull that needle out of my arm. It won't hurt me. It won't hurt me. Go ahead, just reach out. Gotcha, didn't I? Go ahead, just reach in, pull it out. Come on. Okay, start again. Come on. Now, hold on, hold on. One thing I promise you at the start is that this is a trick. And so that you don't go off thinking that I'm just Tony Perkins in a painted tie here. <laughs> Let me wipe the phony blood <laughs> from my arm. You gotta look at my arm, feel it. Assure the audience there is no puncture wound. There's no puncture wound. That's geek. Uh -huh.